Hello everybody, Slum Kirby here for my first turn of Toad's Midway Madness. I got an 8, and I actually get a little lucky here, and I actually get to go the way I wanted to go. If I got a lower number, I probably would have had to wait for Peach to uh, screw me over. I want to go ahead and go down. Uh, this for first map might, might be a little more informative than it is actually just, you know, a casual playthrough of the game. Just so I can get some of the basics down. In future uh, board playthroughs of this game, it should be a lot more, you know, just exciting and more laid back and casual. But for now, this is going to be how it is. Okay, we have our first mini game, a four player mini game. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Mario Speedwagons. Okay, in this game, you have to do a little drag race. Um, let's see, I'll make sure I got the right controls. I gotta accelerate with the R button and change gears with A. You can hit the g gas a little before the green light for a good start. If you overdo it, you'll spin out and ruin your start. Okay. This can be a little difficult, but once you get the pattern of how to do this mini game, you can be fine. Trying to make sure who I am. Okay, I'm on the bottom right. And I messed up big time. That's why I said you can either do really good on this mini game or you can screw it up with a bad start like I did. It's like I don't know the exact pattern, but I mean, as you can see, I can I have a really good record for this level, so or this mini game, so. It's proof enough that I can do this. It's just getting back into this game. I forgot the correct controls for that minigame. Okay, let's see what DK does. Is he gonna go for an item? No, he's not. He's gonna keep going. And go he should. He has his first star of the game. <laughs> he's actually ahead of everybody now. I think if only I didn't mess up that minigame, he wouldn't have been able to get a star. Okay, the second star is up there. That's totally in my reach. I can totally get that. Uh, DK got chased away by the cart. That's the happening spaces. All those happening spaces on the track activate the cart. The other ones, I think, activate the teacups. Here's an item space. You can only get two items from these boxes. Mini mushrooms and uh, mega mushrooms. I'll get into the physics of those items a little later. I'm gonna just keep going, moving on right now. No items. I'll talk about that in the next, uh, next turn when Mario actually probably will use it. Although it's a mini, so he probably won't use it. Okay, we have a one versus three now. Hide and go boom. This is a luck-based minigame. You, all you have to do is choose one of the random cannons and hope that the one player doesn't fire. It's a B, A, X, and Y are the cannons you can choose. I'm wondering if I should tell you guys what cannon I'm going to go into. I'm, I'm just pressing random buttons right now. Okay, I chose a cannon. Let's see if Mario lights it, or he skips it. Either way is fine with me. I can tell you I am not in that cannon, and nobody was. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll see who Mario goes for next time. Also, he can only light three cannons, so you have three turns to be safe. Unfortunately, I was in that one. Never go for the obvious A button. So there is a good chance we'll win as long as the other player uh, choose, didn't choose the same cannon. Okay, thank gosh. Um, Donkey Kong won it for us, so that's pretty good. And yes, even if you get fired from the cannon, you still win. I will admit though, that game is completely ruined when you're playing with friends. I mean, the three players can easily just say, um, hide in this cannon, hide in that cannon, or whatever. Oh wait, no, I guess they couldn't really do that, because... But it's uh, easier that way. 
they can coordinate their movements a little better so they're not all caught in the same blast or something. But still. Okay, so mini mushrooms and mega mushrooms are the key uh, systematic from this game. Mini mushrooms make you small and make you go less movements, and mega mushrooms make you roll tw two dice, and you get a move, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, you're big, basically. Uh, when you're small, um, you can fit into tiny little spaces that you couldn't get as a normal character. But if you're mega, you actually skip some of the events going on. So you might need to use uh, mini mushrooms when a star is behind a little small hole or something. While mega mushrooms you should only really use to catch up to a star or to just steal coins from a bunch of other players. I unfortunately got a mini mushroom or a mega block. But I'll keep it just in case I need it. It's always good to have a mini mushroom on hand just in case the star moves to an undesirable location. And I also recommend that you never use mega mushrooms when you're close to a star. Never. You'll probably miss it. Okay, we have another one versus three. Candlelight Flight. I hate this game, no matter what side I'm on. We're trying to blow out a candle, uh, the, which the one player is holding. With water guns. We're using water guns to knock out the candle. Seems like it would work, yes, but the hitbox for the candle is in really, really small. And I can barely see the screen as it is, so this is going to be... Oh, I actually got him. I can't even see where I am. Oh, I'm over there. Okay, I almost got him there. If you're playing this with computer players, you better hope that they're... Um, competent when you're on their side and you better hope they're idiots when you're on the one player side. However, we won this game. Sorry Mario, you have to lose again. Although I think Donkey Kong is on a very good pathway to the minigame star right now. He's won three of the last three minigames and me and Peach have only won two of the last three. But DK is kind of going to be stuck on this little area for a while, so... Or maybe he will, maybe he won't, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> and Mario is actually going to use his Mega Mushroom and take away coins from Donkey Kong. If you're a Mega Mushroom player, you can roll two die, as I already said. If you get the same number on both die, you get a coin bonus. But more importantly, if you land on a character while you're Mega, you take 10 coins from him. And 10 coins is a lot in this game, believe me. It is a lot of coins. And Mario could easily get another Mega Mushroom right now. Oh, but he got another Mini one. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to... get the star, which I am only one space away from. The happening space will actually turn the arrow back in my direction, giving some players a small chance to get there, but I'm going to get the star next turn no matter what, so it's kind of useless now. Okay, Peach buys a warp pipe, but again, it's going to be kind of useless by the time it's her turn again. She loses three coins. It's a two versus two. I'm uh, with Peach. And we're in cliffhangers. I really hate this minigame. This game is going to be hell with lag. You're climbing up a giant ice mountain. Uh, but the wind can get very strong. So as soon as you feel the wind or see the exclamation points, you got to press A so you can hold on tight to the mountaintop so you don't get blown off. With lag, I'm probably not going to be able to do it as uh, precise as I normally could. Just for my own safety. Almost always, that first wind blast doesn't do anything. Okay, I think I'll... I think the rumble pad will actually help me. Okay, I'm actually using the rumble pad for this. Wow, this is actually doing me really well right now. 
so much for winning this game, Donkey Kong. So yeah, the rumble pad's a lot better than the exclamation marks. And look who's at the very top of the mountain first. It's Slim Kirby. Me and Peach get 10 extra coins for our trouble. And we're actually ahead of Donkey Kong right now. Or we're tied with Donkey Kong in minigame wins. And I have 41 coins. Uh, I hate that number. I hate that number with a passion. Donkey Kong gets a me measly one. Mario is going to use his mini mushroom for some reason. I have no idea why he would do that. 